what is the most useful and important hack in life which you can learn to achieve success in life the most important skill you need to learn to be successful is goal setting you must have seen that in life we have been setting goals knowingly or unknowingly so today over the next 15 minutes i dr yumna nelson i'm going to tell you all the secrets about goal setting what is goal setting why we have to set our goals and in which fields we can set our goals and what is goal setting all about and how our goals are to be set to be achievable to be to reach that goal so over the next 15 minutes prepare open your mind and listen intently so that you can learn the greatest hack in life to be successful goal setting so what actually is goal setting goal setting is you have a state in which you are in either in in any field where you are in the present state but you want to reach a certain level of skill or progress where you want to look up to and reach that so in order to reach that you aim the target you make the goals and you set your goals in that way so why goal setting is required is because in order to reach a state which you desire you want to achieve you need to set your goals you realize it or not without your goals you can't progress in life so where all are the fields in which you can set your goals there are many fields in almost all walks of life you can set goals but but the most important areas are basically in five areas five broad categories so the first one can be finance your financial state and where you want to reach over the next one month one year five years like that short term medium term long term goals similarly in the second area is in the areas of health you may be healthy or you may be unhealthy you may be obese you may be lean thin but you may be having an an aim a desire to be healthy to reduce the weight or to gain weight or to lead a healthy life or to be free from diseases so in the areas of health again there can be goals set next in the third part in the areas of relationship you can set goals in relationships like if you may be having a poor relationship with your colleagues in workplace or with your parents with your spouse with your children you can set goals what are the targets you want to achieve in in how long and how so that is the third part in the areas of relationship you can set your goals to target your goals you can achieve it next is the common areas of our studies or career or business in this fourth category you are in your state where you are studying or you are in a certain stage in your progress in life and you want to achieve or pass an exam or get a job or multiply your business so there goal setting again will help and the fifth one is your inner state for your mental and emotional well being you can set goals you can set targets you can change your lifestyle accordingly so these are the broad five categories 
where you can set goals to be successful in life yeah so how exactly will you grow about that i will detail later on but what are the things which you have to look into to make goal setting successful worthwhile so there is an acronym called smart goal setting almost everywhere you will come across once you go through my video you will come to know that there is a thing called smart goal setting so what what does this smart stand for smart s stands for specific m for measurable a for achievable r for relevant and t for time bound so that's basically smart goal setting it's easy what actually is this is that your goals have to be first of all s that is to be specific you have to specify what you have to reach suppose in your finance how much goal have you have you to set to in your finance in terms of money wealth where you want to reach you want to buy a house or car or you want to earn how much money over how much period of time so you have to specify what exactly you want to achieve so that you can aim to that and likewise in health relationship or career for example you have to pass the graduation degree or you have to pass appear in an interview and aim towards it and get the job so those are specific i have to suppose i have to get a job i have to get into the army so i have to set a target a goal specific for that and next is m measurable so it should be measurable you can measure suppose you are in class 10 and over next 2 years you will be in class 12 and uh, and 3 years later again you will be graduating and after that you will be appearing for jobs exams etc so you can measure it the growth the height and smart the next is a achievable the goals should be achievable you have to believe that you will be able to achieve it if you feel you won't be able to achieve it you won't you have to have that firm belief that you will be able to achieve it if you are class 10 you will know that you will be able to cross class 10 exam with good results likewise 12 likewise graduation similarly in a, in other areas of relationship you will think of having a good relationship with the opposite partner and then you will aim for a happy married life so it should be achievable next is relevance the goals should be relevant if you are not a science student you cannot aim to be a science graduate so the goals are to be relevant in areas of health if you are leading a poor life and if you are not eating your uh, you are lazy enough then you have to think whether my goals will be relevant or not similarly the next is time bound to achieve a target as i told you there can be a short term goal a medium term goal or a long term goal this works like in finance or career or in all the five fields so short term can be for some it can be one month or two months or even one week two weeks medium term can be accordingly two three months or one year and long term can be five years or 10 years accordingly so for the thing which you want to achieve after for setting the goal the time bound goal setting is needed so smart goal setting specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound so this is what all smart goal setting is about now 
how to achieve your goal setting. It's very easy to just imagine and think that I want to reach that state, that desired state. I want to be a doctor, an engineer. But how do you start with that goal setting and how do you go about? So for goal setting to be successful, achievable, specific, relevant and time bound, you need to work on it. You need to sit down and start. So first of all, you can write down your goals which are achievable, measurable, specific. And you need to write down why you believe that you can achieve it in the first part. Next, in the second, you can write down the desired emotional outcome. What you will benefit when you reach that goal. Next, the third part, you can write down the biggest potential obstacle or the sabotaging behavior in achieving that goal. Suppose if you want to quit smoke, smoking, so what is that obstacle which is sabotaging your behavior? Maybe your friend circle, maybe your environment, your lifestyle. lifestyle. So you need to do away with all those negative potential obstacles. And the fourth is you need to write down your plan to overcome those obstacles, how you will get over those negative sabotaging behaviors. So you need to plan a detailed strategy. You can even visualize, you can even think about it, you can even feel and you will see the goal coming true. And next in the fifth number, you can write down one thing which you can start immediately how you can achieve your success, your target, suppose in studies, you need to start opening which book, where to start. So immediately to take action and to be consistent after that. And in the sixth, sixth part, you need to commit, you need commitment towards your goal. You need to devote yourself in your goal and you need to be consistent. Then only you will be able to achieve your goal. And in the last, you can write down any simple accomplishments every day. Anything which you are inching towards your goal, you have to reward yourselves for that. You make yourself feel that, that you are achieving your goal. You are inching towards your goal. So that is how you keep measuring your progress. You, you set the target, you have that specific goal, measurable goal, then you measure it by rewarding yourself and finally within that time bound you will be able to receive, achieve that specific goal. So that is all about goal setting. Now having heard all about what goal setting is about, in which fields you can set your goals and what this smart goal setting is all about and how to go about. Go ahead, set your goals and start today. Set immediate goals, medium term goals and long term goals. You will reap success. Thank you.